Hashtag, hashtag. Guys, before I start this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Stay up to date with all my motherfucking videos. Follow me on my social media. will be in the description box. Polo, give it a thumbs up. It doesn't cause you a fucking penny up the channel. I'd really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button. Use all my field links in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get to the review. You guys have probably been wondering, like, why hasn't this guy reviewed the ghost hydration? And uh, long story short, I've been wanting to... This has, like, been on my, my list of things to get done for a while, and I just haven't gotten to it, so I'm getting to it now. So here it is. Ghost. That's what I got today. Ghost hydration. Yay! Let's get a thumbnail for that short, the YouTube short. Yay! Gotta get the short in there. Yay! I don't even know how I'm gonna do that. I guess I'm gonna try to do this. Something like that. Something like it, that. Let's see. Like like right here. I, gotta get, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Is that it? It's probably it right there. Right there. Ghost hydration. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Ghost hydration. All right. So long story short, like I said, I've been, tr I've been trying to get to this. I just haven't had the time and I'm trying to prioritize things that I need to get done. Honestly, I review almost shit like every day and I still have not I've caught up with everything. So I've been meaning to get to it. There's five or four flavors. Actually, give me a fifth one now. So by the time this probably comes out, there'll already be a fifth flavor. So let's get into it. The price point, you can get these pretty much anywhere. Ghost is sold. There's usually Ghost Hydration. You can get it for like the $2 to $5 range. Two, two for $5 range, so like $2.50. Definitely in that uh, prime hydration category of price point plus. That's pretty much what they're going for. Um, as far as the product, this is basically the competition for prime, Gatorades, Powerades, shit like that. All right. So they got four flavors as of right now. They got the Red Berry Sour Patch. They got the Kiwi Strawberry. They got the Orange Squeeze. And they got the traditional Lemon Lime. So there's only one flavor as of right now that is a patented uh, trademark, in, uh, trademark flavor. Uh, by the time this comes out, there'll be the Blue, the blue Raspberry Sour Patch one. Hydration. Um, these are non-carbonated, zero caffeine as far as the product. And you do have 996 milligrams total of electrolytes, zero sugar, zero caffeine, rich in antioxidants, vitamin C. Um, you got Aquaman, 500 milligrams, Synactive, Synactive, 50 milligrams, 100% of your daily vitamins, 100% of your daily vitamin C. And uh, it's got a complete uh, breakdown of the electrolytes and shit like that. No, no. I don't know why they use 996 milligrams. They literally should have just bumped it up four milligrams of something, right? And then they could have got away with saying one gram of total mil total electrolytes. Why do 996? You know what I'm saying? What's the point of that? Makes no sense. Anyways, that's just my fucking opinion. All right, I got four flavors here. Let's go and try them out. Should I try them out with the first, uh, first traditional flavor, like the lemon lime, right? Yeah, let's do that. Fuck it. Lemon lime, zero sugar, zero caffeine, non-carbonated. Lemon lime. Yeah, look how wet that is. All right, here we go. Ooh. Ooh, that's really good. That is a really good lemon lime. It honestly tastes like a top tier premium Gatorade. And um, I'd say it tastes better than Gatorade because it's got uh, it's got more of like a premium taste. I don't know how to describe it other than it's clean, it feels very premium tasting, and it's got a good taste. Really, really good. Kiwi strawberry, boom, try it out, boom. Holy shit, this one's filled to the brim, look at that. Here we go. Mmm. Ooh. That kiwi is very strong, and that strawberry is very strong. Mmm. That is really good. Honestly, these are perfect for a workout. Very, or just throughout the day, or something when you're a sweaty day, or a hot day. Mmm. It's very sweet. It's got a great taste profile. 
Honestly, kiwi strawberry is a banger and a half. That's probably my favorite flavor so far. Orange squeeze. Let's go ahead and orange. The fuck? Seen some film. It looked like a little, little bit of film. Uh, this one's, uh, this one's, this is not your standard orange. This is more like an orange citrus, uh, this one feels as, like, I was going to say aesthetic. This one feels acidic. This one feels acidic to me. Um, and it kind of tastes like a tang. It's like an orange tang type of taste. Not my favorite, but it's still really good. This is more of a preference. I, I wouldn't see myself buying this one again. Uh, I just don't like acidic tastes. Like it, it kind of fucks with my stomach. Kind of gives me the feeling of uh, like I don't know if it's acid reflux. I don't have acid reflux or anything like that. But I I just don't like acidic tasting stuff. And uh, that tastes like a tang, like an orange tang. Orange tang I used to like when I was a kid, but I'm just not a fan of it anymore. Not bad though. It's a really good flavor. Anyways, here we go with the red berry. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. That's a banger. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Ah, oh, it's so good. This literally tastes like Sour Patch Kids Red Berry. And honestly, it's not that sour. I'm assuming they they pulled back the sourness so that you could drink more of these because it's hydration. Why would you want to drink a hydration product that makes you want to drink it, but then the sourness makes you don't want to keep drinking it because it's so sour? But this is not that sour, but it's still got that same Sour Patch Kid taste. Mm. That's a banger. That is a banger. Honestly, these are really good. These are right up there with Prime Hydration. And honestly, I really like Prime Hydration. And I could see these being a very high competitive uh, high competitive category for uh, Prime. And I could see these actually being a hit, especially if they keep that price point reasonable. I could definitely see myself personally picking these up uh, at a reasonable or at a regular basis, but not like super crazy. Um, I definitely would buy these every now and then and take them to the gym or just, like I said, what's hot out or anything like that. Personally, out of the four, uh, orange is going to be my least favorite. And uh, honestly, these three will be pretty much tied. I feel like these are all very consistent with what they taste like. And uh, even though I might say that I like the red berry, the kiwi better than the lemon lime, I'm still going to rate these all three the same. So as far as the ratings... Keeping it honest, unbiased, and always the real deal. These three right here are 9.5s in my opinion. 9.5s for all three of these. And personally, I think the red berry and the kiwi would be my favorites. And lemon lime's right there. It's just slightly less favorable. Just because of I'm, I don't really like I don't really like common generic flavors. And lemon lime is a pretty much that's what that is. But hey, they're still all three getting 9.5s in this orange one. It's good. It's just got a little bit of acidic taste to it. it. Tastes like tang. If you like tang, you're gonna like that. But to me, it's uh, it's not. It's, it's I'm trying to be as unbiased, even when it comes to flavors. And even though it's not for me, it's still really good. And this is still gonna get a nine out of ten, even though I am not personally a fan of it. Doesn't mean you won't like it. And they still did a good. They still did a good job with it. So I got a call. I can see it. Nine for the orange, 9.5s for the other three flavors, and they are going to have a blue one coming out, which is the predecessor or successor? Successor. It'd probably be the successor. I don't know if that's the right word, but it's going to be the blue one. That one comes out. When that one comes out, I will be reviewing it. That's what I got for it. I, have, I absolutely like these a lot. I will be picking them up going forward. That's my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, all that good shit. It's always unbiased. It's always honest. It's always raw. And it's always my honest thoughts. No paid sponsored bullshit over here. You're always going to get the raw, honest, uh, no condom reviews.
That's how it is over here. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Everything you know is in the description box below. We're progressing and never regressing. And other than that, I'll check you guys later. Game.